Okay, today's video is a real quick uh, how to use the uh, DNC CNC controller. Um, I'll try to put a link to what this actually is. Um, I've been using it for a while now. And I'm going to start from the point of we've already got our design from Fusion 360 or our design package um, on this USB key. And basically all you really have to do is pop that USB key in. I'm going to turn on the CNC now and just kind of show you how it works. Okay, so basically while the CNC is booting up here, uh, once you plug the USB key in, usually this will start blinking. Uh, you've got memory and USB. And uh, you can actually store things in memory as well on this. So you can send it down. Uh, you can go back and forth. You can download files from your CNC onto the unit. So this is bi-directional. Works out really well if you need to store your settings of your Fanuc uh, controller. You can uh, go to the... Um, uh, go in your manual and look at how to download all your configuration get it all and put it on your machine uh, that's something that I've done and ended up saving um, so right now we're in what's on this USB key and I've got several programs here and the way you select a program is you select it so it'll show you a little bit of text here uh, of your top level program this is the top bias dial uh, if you looked at a previous video, I did a, a uh, I'll grab it here. I did a little dial uh, that basically fits my vise. So I can put it on my vise and spin it really quickly and, and tighten up my vise. Uh, so what we do is we select it, and then if you actually go into function, you got a couple things. You can, if, since we've selected a program, we want to send the program. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in send mode, and it'll basically pop up with a little ready status telling you that it's ready to send the program. Now I'm going to flip the console around and show you what this means to to the uh, the controller. And on the Fanuc, if we wanted to. Um, Let's go ahead and zero everything out. So basically if you wanted to run tape mode, uh, which is basically you don't want to download the program to the, uh, the actual CNC controller and work with it out of its memory, but you want to run directly off of this and just have this drip feed out. Um, all you've really got to do is, is select tape on your controller. I'm going to kind of show you what mine looks like. There we go. Uh, tape is there. So we would select tape. This is already set to send, and we would hit cycle start. And basically it would start drip feeding and it would run that program. Um, if we want to load a program uh, on my machine, I would go over to edit, and I would go to I.O. And with this running, I would basically hit read. Once I hit read, it will automatically download it into the memory, and it will show up in your library list, and you can run that directly to the machine. Um, a couple of things on this. Uh, I did get the uh, cable. Uh, I'll put a I'll put a link uh, for Amazon. I purchased it off Amazon. They already have a ready-made cable for the Fanuc that goes directly uh, to this little unit here, um, which makes it really easy. You don't have to worry about wiring anything up, and you can just plug it and go. Uh, so I'll put a link to that. Another thing I'll note is this does come set up at the default of the Fanuc, 
on my particular machine uh, I did I did boost that up I am running 19 200 uh, so if, if you know how to go in and edit options on the fan controller I'm not going to cover that in this video um, it's pretty easy to do you can basically go in and change your COM port up to 19 200 uh, and then change this to 19 200 and it works perfectly it works a lot better uh, especially if you're doing like 3D contours or something like that and doing drip feed it's going to make it work a lot better it also speeds up general programming if you're actually backing up uh, your options file or you're wanting to download a program and put it on your CNC controller this is a really convenient uh, thing to have um, I don't know these days if you can really have one of these old older controllers and not have some kind of DNC uh, but I, I love this one. This, this works really well. Um, I'm just going to pop it off. It's held on by magnets. So the install is pretty much magneted onto your machine. Hook your uh, serial connection up. Um, and if you have a different machine, odds are if you go on to Amazon or eBay and do a search for your machine and serial adapter, what this has is a 9 pin and my machine is a 25 pin. Um, and there are a couple little variances. The Fanuc, I think, has, uh, I think it, they actually have both control lines on the serial wired through. Um, so I've made sure that I got a cable that had that. But I'll, for the Fanuc, this is an OM. I'll, send, I'll put a link in the description to show you exactly which one to get. Um, but that's it. Pretty much you just mount it up and you can pretty much be going as soon as you get a design on your USB key. You can either drip feed or download the program into your OM. Um, anyway, I hope this helps uh, some folks out. I had a Patreon user that uh, specifically requested how does this all work. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, it's actually a lot simpler than I thought it was when I first got it. It was a little bit of a dark art of how to get these to work. Uh, but this is pretty much plug and play. If you don't change the baud rate, and I don't recommend doing that in the beginning, um, you should just be able to put this on your machine, purchase your cable, hook it up, put a... Uh, uh, an NC file uh, that's valid on a USB key and it's pretty much if you want to run it drip feed you run it in tape mode and if you want to run uh, it off the machine you just go to your edit menu and go to your IO menu up here on the on the control and hit read and it'll read that program in and you'll see it in your library list and then you can run it just like you would a normal program anyway I hope y'all like the videos if y'all have any questions let me know thanks